and welcome back to another episode of the Everyday Joy Podcast. I'm your host, Ash Owen, and I am so ready to find moments of joy with you today. If you didn't know, we have actually launched our Everyday Joy Podcast Instagram. So if you jump over to Instagram and type in Everyday Joy Pod, you can find clips from our episodes, discussions, extra little bits of behind the scenes. Why don't you follow today and why don't you write us a written review either on Spotify or Apple Podcast? That way more people can find out about your everyday joy. Let's jump into today's words to live by. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 32 in the CEV Bible. You hurt only yourself by rejecting instruction, but it makes good sense to accept it. Joe, it is so good to see you again. Thank you. You are looking insanely beautiful today. Oh, you stop it. Every time, <laughs> I have to say, every time Joe walks into a room, I feel like there's just quiet little gasps everywhere <laughs> because she looks fabulous <laughs> all the time. Stop it's insane. It. She's wearing the most beautiful green. I don't even know how to describe the colour. It's like a muted lime green because I wouldn't say it's br- like... It's not fluorescent. No, but it is it's like a muted bright. lime and it is stunning. Thank you. I love your fashion sense, Joe, And I must say your heel collection is rather (laughs) impressive. Yes, I have a big heel collection. (laughs) She's like, I have a passion for the Lord and heels. I do. I have a passion for shoes. (laughs) So good. Well, today we're looking at Proverbs 15 verse 32. Mm -hmm. You only hurt yourself by rejecting instruction, but it makes good sense to accept it. Mm -hmm. What first comes to mind when you read Uh, this? first comes to mind being a mum of four and you know once being a child myself I think we fight this from the very beginning Mm. you know you try and tell a two or three year old what they're supposed to do and they will come up with why they shouldn't or Mm -hmm. another alternative I mean I have a story straight off the bat about how when my daughter Tori my eldest was two and uh, we lived in Sydney and I said to her we're going to have a bath and then after the bath we're going to have dinner and I'm very much a person who tells them what's happening she said no we're not no no I'm going to have dinner and then I'm going to have the bath and I argued with the two-year-old about the instructions because it is built in us I don't know how or why Mm. but even from an early age that we somehow want to have autonomy we don't like to be told what to do some personalities more than others Mm. but yeah why is that yeah it's so interesting because it does make me think about just our relationship with God in general because Sometimes I wonder whether like Jesus sees us all as kids sometimes in the sense of we probably make the silliest decisions and he just goes, why? Like, why are you doing that? Why don't you listen to me? Like you as a parent going, I'm doing this because, you know, I want to let you get to bed early so you get a good night's sleep so that you're not cranky in the morning. Mm. But as a child, you don't realize that. And I I could almost guarantee that there are so many scenarios where the Lord just like watches the way we do things and he goes... Joe, Ash, literally, just listen to me. Why are you doing this? I told you. I told you. And so I think that it's the exact same attitude. Oh, that example of you and your daughter is so beautiful because as a parent, you know, I I don't have kids, but when I when I look after my little nieces and my little cousins, when you tell them not to run near the road or you tell them not to pick up the chopping knife or whatever it is, They might have a tantrum because they think that it's the funnest, most exciting thing ever, but you know that it's not good for them. You know that if they were to reject your instruction, it would lead to possibly hurting themselves or, you know, getting into a bad situation. And so, you know, as people, we need to learn to be open to instruction. Mm. I think that it actually, like you said, it's not inherently what we want or look for. And so I think that what this verse is saying is like, actually wire your brain, prepare yourself and be intentional to say yes to instruction, to say yes to feedback, to say yes to accountability, because it's not necessarily what's built in us to want, because it can be scary to have someone kind of go, yeah, look, don't do this. That's not right. Mm. You know, to have to be accountable enough to reflect and change and and, um, adapt isn't always the like most... uh, What's the word? Comfortable of scenarios. No, no. And of course with others, you've got to know who's giving you the instruction Mm, and what that purpose is. And the thing that's really stood out to me is 
the absolute need for discernment. Mm. Now, God is always speaking. Mm. God is always there for instruction and always there. His word is a book of instruction Mm. and comfort. But do we hear it? Do we listen? And so being able to listen to that discernment, to be able to come back and say to God, what do you say? Because I want your instruction. Yeah, that is so, so good. Because a friend can give you instruction, but you still go back to the one that made you. My, you know, so-and-so said this, what do you say? Mm. Um, I actually have, I very much have um, songs that sometimes resonate with me for a year or have like, you know, there's, there's songs of deliverance and songs of instruction. This year, I powerfully know uh, a song that is very much uh, my anthem for this year. And it goes with this scripture uh, mm. as well. And it's all about, you know, who speaks and when do you move? How mm. do you follow instruction? It's played on the light worship and it's called, I won't move until you speak. Um, I won't move. And it says, you know, um, though my eyes, they can't see, you're the voice mm. that's healing and guiding me. You know, I won't move until you speak. And so when you're facing something, yeah. ask God, what do you want me to do? Mm. Develop that Holy Spirit intuition, that, that, that passion to be instructed, mm. but it's who you're going to be instructed by. Yeah, that's such a great point, Joe. And I actually had a conversation with a friend about this um, earlier in the week. And it's so true because you can get advice mm. from everywhere. Oh, like when you don't you, want it. <laughs> totally. But even if you do want it, yeah. there are so many resources now that you could search up one question, one piece of instruction, mm-hmm. and you could get five completely different answers. Yes. And so I think what you said about going back to the word and going back to what God says is so true. And I said this to my friend the other day. I said, at the end of the day, when we stand before Jesus, you know, he doesn't He doesn't mind what our best friend's opinions were. Yeah. He doesn't mind what even a mentor's, like mentors, are, I'm not saying mentors aren't great, but ultimately if they contradict or they're not what the word of God says, mm. Like lean into the word of God. Mm-hmm. Like that is the only thing that will give you the complete peace and satisfaction and just the whole a whole answer is what's in the word of God. Yeah, and can I be a bit controversial? Because why wouldn't I be? It's it's me. <laughs> it's Joe. It's Joe. Um, I've just got to say this. Like these days, everyone's my truth, your truth, and so forth. There, yes, you have your version of the truth. I have my version of the truth. But I'm sorry to everyone that doesn't want to hear this, but there is an absolute truth. Yeah. It's the word of God. Yeah. And so you might have an opinion, Ash, that's great. I might have an opinion, that's great. But the God that made me, that knows me, that loves me, that's the word I want to move to. Mm. That's the instruction I want to guide my life by. You get counsel in the multitude of many. Mm. Absolutely. And we need to be able totally. to have that one-on-one face-to-face conversation Mm. but my anthem is for 2024 i won't move until you speak so good jesus when you speak i'll listen we have our own versions of the truth but there is one truth and his name's jesus you only hurt yourself by rejecting instruction but it makes good sense to accept it I loved what Joe said today. You know, there is something so powerful about knowing that there is truth and consistency and wisdom in the Word of God. In the ESV version, it says, whoever ignores instruction despises himself, but he who listens to the reproof gains intelligence. The fear of the Lord is instruction in wisdom and humility comes before honor. Whether you're getting advice on a scenario, maybe you have a big decision you need to make. Today, why don't you take it up through the filter of the Word of God? Get advice, get good counsel around you, but ultimately, let's make sure that it lines up with the Word. Well, I hope that you got so much out of today's episode and I cannot wait to chat more tomorrow. Until then, I hope you're able to find moments of joy all day long. 
why don't you go ahead and leave us a five-star written review over on Apple Podcasts or over on Spotify. That way more people can find out about this incredible community and the little bits of everyday joy that we get to have together. Until tomorrow, I hope you have an incredible day.